How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back to another what I'm liking and not so much. So if you want to see who I likes and maybe not likes, keep on watching. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the products, shall we? I have, do have a couple products here that were sent to me. We're going to do some uh, hair products that I I like to do first. OGX, they recently sent me another new box, which I will be having a video up, I believe, on Saturday with my shout out Saturday, a haul video, some products that was sent to me and I got and all that kind of stuff. And I want to give away actually too. Um, but this was in there. This is the Renewing Argon Oil of Morocco Voluminous Mousse. The first thought that was the hairspray and I was like, oh cool, I like the hairspray because uh, the can looks, you know, the same and everything. So I just, I didn't really look. Then I was like, oh, Voluminous Mousse. And it's for frizz-free, hydration, thicker, fuller hair. This is really nice mousse. I mean, if you guys are somebody that, you know, likes your mousse or loves mousse, this this wasn't sticky neither. I didn't have problems with stickiness. You know, some of them could get pretty tacky sticky. So I would definitely give this a try or check it out if you, um, I know they sell in Ulta and everything and Walmart. So really nice mousse, liking that. So another company, uh, Joyaco, they had sent me a deep conditioner that I'm liking um, a lot, like a deep conditioning mask. Well, this is called the Hair Hair Shake. It's a liquid to powder texturizing finisher. Now, I don't have anything in my hair right now, hairspray, nothing. And I'm gonna spritz in my hair some here. Do you see that? Seriously, and this smells so good. And it doesn't leave me dandruff hair. You know how some stuff you can put and spray in your hair, like hairsprays or, you know, like, I mean, like it says here, it's liquid, it dries, you know, like powder. Mm -mm, I don't even see, now, of course, I hold it from a distance. I'm not going to hold it, you know, forever up in a, but seriously, look at that. I mean, and you just, like I'm scrunching my hair, whatever you want to do, you know, you just took your hair out in curlers or something like that, maybe, or just whatever. Done. <laughs> now look how much more my hair looks, you know, like a little fuller and just, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good stuff. And it's from a Joyaco hair shaker. Now I, or shake, hair shake, I'm sorry. I have seen... Alta sells Joyaco, so I'm not sure where else you can get it. Obviously, maybe they might have their own site. But yeah, guys, if you have a style that you're doing after you get your curlers out, or I would say try this. Like fluff out your curls or whatever, uh, waves, whatever you're doing, um, and try this. It, I love it. and pretty impressed. <laughs> okay, two... Uh, hair products that I'm not really liking too much. I have had this for a while now and I've tried using it different ways here and there. A couple times, like this is from, actually I should tell you what it is. It's the Garnier, uh, Garnier Triple Nutrition Miracle Dry Oil, oil, dry, uh, oil <laughs> for hair, body, and face. Um, the nourishing oils is like avocado, olive, and almond, which I love all of them. The problem I have with this, even if just I try to do it even a little lightly to spritz in my hair, because even that light little spritz like that, it's making my hair feel kind of greasy. I don't know. I'm just not really getting into this one as much. I, I kind of do like my OGX ones that I have so far. Again, my vitamin B5, I think I mentioned that one quite a bit, which, hello hair, what are you doing here? I think that I'm, I mentioned that a good bit, but I'm just not, maybe for the body, but not for the hair. And it says, say, for the face, and I have done that, but it was okay. I don't think I'll ever get another one. Not not liking that one too much for, for the hair, especially. Okay, I got some of the Velcro curlers, you know, because, like, a lot of people love to use, and, I, you know, yeah, like, you just put them in your hair, roll them up. And they stick in your hair and stay. I don't like them. I don't like them. I have 
tried and tried and tried to use them. And the reason why I don't, I will try to pull them out of my hair. I feel like I'm ripping my hair out, put it that way. I feel like, and, and I don't feel like I'm doing anything wrong. Like I'm just rolling my hair up like I always do. Grab a piece, roll it up, you know, and um, leave it in like when my hair is even wet and let my hair dry with the curlers in. But when I take them out, it's like it's pulling and ripping my hair out. Now it could be, I mean, I do have very obviously thick, you know, hair and everything. It could be that, and it just might not be for somebody like me. I might be better off with using just the normal, typical curlers or those bendy kind of curlers. Um, I know some people will be like, really, do you need curlers? Because I have natural curly hair, but sometimes it's nice to play with that kind of stuff and, and get like bigger, different styles of curls, you know, or something. Uh, Cause mostly I scrunch my hair. I just know they're pulling out my hair no matter how hard I've tried, <laughs> I've tried, I've tried, but it's just not working. So yeah, not so much like in the skincare. So this company, yeah, Hydropeptide, if you can see the bag, they sent me this. It's a travel size kit that has um, you know, all their products in here. They're just like travel size. Like, you know, you go somewhere maybe on your trip or go away for a while. Now, I've never heard of this company. So there's a an exfoliate, exfoliating cleanser in here. There is a... Um, uh, pre-treatment toner in here. There is this here. It is the purifying mask. It's in like a little thing. There's a little purify mask. And then there's this here, the hydropeptide eye authority, the hydropeptide face lift. And I have to say, guys, I am pretty impressed with this company so far. I have never um, heard of them, uh, and the, out, out of all the products, I don't know, I do really like the facelift too, the facelift moisturizer, it's anti-wrinkle, I am really liking that, but the thing I think I'm liking a lot and the most might be the eye authority right here, this stuff here, oh my goodness, I can really, really feel a difference, which I do have to put up my review video of um, the Tria machine. I know people are waiting for that, but I just don't want to overload you guys with too many videos. So I can put it in between if you guys want want me to. I can work with that. Um, but the, the eye stuff, I'm really liking a lot. I can let you guys know more about this stuff too in another video if you guys are interested. Another product I'm not liking. Mm, seems like I have three of them in here this day. Okay, a fragrance. Uh, um, and this was... This was uh, from Flower Beauty, okay? It says Sultry. I'm not sure if that's the name of it. I guess Sultry. And it's a really cute. Her packaging is very cute. I know she has a white one and she has several, several different ones, but this is in the purple and it's Sultry. And um, yeah, mm -mm. it's that stronger powder. It's that strong perfume. I, I can't, I, I, I can't because the first time I sprayed on, I was like, no, no, I just can't. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really liking this sultry from Flower, Flower Beauty. Another skincare product. I almost forgot this one. It's the Olay Hendrickson. Now I am liking this. Olay Hendrickson Pure Truth Melting Cleanser, 3-in-1 Cleansing. Uh, is it a gel? Oh, it smells nice. This is um, a, a gel like balm, like you just massage and all the makeup comes off. So yeah, I'm, I'm liking this stuff for taking off makeup. I really am liking, and I think a lot of us do, is the Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring, uh, Contouring Palette. This guy here. Mine's in um, Dolce de Leche. I think that's how you pronounce it, but nice big pan really nice big pan i had gotten the original i got this this one here i got in the giveaway and this is the new formula when they first came out because yeah they did they did come out and this is the packaging which you can see probably the difference of the packaging too right there so this is the original one that i got when it very very first came out a lot of people were having a hard time getting it 
And I did hear Tara Baby say she was disappointed on the part that the contouring coloring is different colors. So I'm going to put them side by side. I don't know if you're going to really be able to see it. This side's the newer one. This side's the original. Can you see the difference in the contouring? Yeah, I think you can. I can see it on a difference. This is a little more darker. This this has that color that is a little more... I, I do like the older one, I'm going to be honest. I like the older one better than the new one because I like the contouring color in this one. This does have a slight, slight, slight little orange tinge into it. Not real hardcore. But yeah, if you can really see the difference there, this one's the original and the one in the middle finger right here, that's the newer one. And again, that was the original. That's the newer one, so it is darker. Um, and it worked for me because I did use it today, so this did work for me, but I, I'm like Terra Babies. I think I liked the original better, the coloring. So I'm going to look at Marc Jacobs and see because people used to compare it to that, if that's that same color because I really like that color, but this one worked fine for me. So speaking of Wet Wild, now I didn't get the new formula one. I have the original, 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 the one that came in the pan where you twist it off and everything. It's the Mega Glow Illuminating, Illuminating Powder in uh, Catwalk Pink. It was 345 Catwalk Pink. And they used to have several shades. And see, it has the same coloring from what I can tell. I do, I do like this. The reason why I got it was actually, it was Shades of Cassie. And I usually, I have this on today. I usually use this side, these two colors here, kind of put them together and use it as a, a blush. And then I use the two light shades here as a highlight. So that's how I use this a lot of times. Or you can use them as eyeshadows even. So another palette that I'm really liking is my Mally. This is City Chick in the Buff. Mally City Chick in the Buff has that pretty uh, snake skin. In, it's a green color snake skin. And here are the shades all here. And at the very end here, that is her eyeshadow base which I like to use on my lids, under my eyes as a concealer. It's a little multitasker guy right there. And you get all these shades, which that is what I am wearing today on my eyes is from this palette right here. I actually have this Egyptian gold, is it? Yeah, her Egyptian gold color right here I have on. And then I have these two matte shades that are right here in my crease and, and um, outer corner area. I did put this all over my lid. It's a matte. There's several mattes in here and several shimmer colors in here. You can still get this from what I've seen online on Ulta. Maybe in your Ulta store you might be able to still see this or swatch it. I don't know. I know it's on online. Um, and then I believe on her site, mellybeauty.com, you can get this. Possibly even QVC you can get this one. Uh, concealer, I used my... Um, Super Stay Better Better Skin. I've been using this a lot throughout the whole week and stuff. Um, it is a really good concealer. Again, Maybelline, Maybelline, you do me no wrong so far in concealers in drugstore. Eyelashes. The Falsies Voluminous Flared. This one here from Maybelline. This is the only only mascara I have on, and it doesn't do too bad of a job for. Now, mind you, my lashes aren't bad. So sometimes when people tell you that mascara is really, really good, it might depend on the lashes. Obviously we all have, like some have thinner, some have less, some have fuller, you know, we're all different with our eyelashes, like everything else, the hair and everything, you know. Um, my eye eyelashes aren't bad. Um, they used to be better, but, but they're still not bad. So, but this does work for me. That's all I put on was just this mascara and it, it's a really I say, give it a whirl. I mean, the wand, I was, like I said, I was a little uncertain about because it is that um, rounded shape just up here. It's like straight down here and then rounded up here. So I was a little nervous of that because I've never used those kind. And it has a flexible, a little, a little flexibility to it, but I like it. I like it. So I'd say, give it a girl, give it a girl, give, give it a whirl. <laughs> flared, it's the flared one. Remember that.
lastly is a, a Melly product and a Milani product. Okay, so on my lips today, I have on, and I love, I, I think she still has these on her site, um, the Melly Lip Magnifier Lip Color Pencils. They're these like lip pencils. I have a lot of shades of these. Um, some I had purchased, some were sent to me. And um, this one here, which one's this shade? Because this is the orangey, Sexy Siren. This is Sexy Siren. So it's like an orange shade, but it's so pretty. Look at that, it is so pretty. Hers do have shine to them. I love her lip magnifier pencils. Now I know she's been changing some stuff and formulas and different things. I'm thinking she still has these. Uh, on her, I know she has them on her melonbeauty.com. I'm not sure about Alta. I believe on QVC she still does. And I love lip pencils because you can line your lips and then color your lips in. That's one thing I love about lip pencils. If you find a good one, especially. And then Milani, this is Brilliant Brilliant Shine Lip Gloss from Milani. It's like the number is 15 and it looks like it is Dolce. And it's like that duo chromey, like, you know, that, um, foiled kind of, and I put that on top of it, look, which, oh my goodness, when you open these up, it's like this buttercream smell, but it's so pretty and shiny, look at that, it's like that foil, you know, everybody's wearing these foiled, all right, beauties, that is everything, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up, that would help me out so much, and I'd really, really appreciate that, if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you, you can come and join me each week, and as always, beauties, please remember to be yourself, love yourself, and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, you guys all take care. I will see you then. I love you guys very much. Bye. Mwah.